This is Twit. Let's start with Engadget's yeah. list of、uh, nominees for the best of CES. Sherilyn, you were involved in this, I'm sure, right? Yeah,、uh, the whole team actually was involved.、Um, you know, each editor was assigned one or two categories to kind of、uh, manage. And then we all got together、um, around the second or the third night of the show to all talk about our nominees and why we think they're worth the nomination. And then the next night, everyone votes、uh, on which should win, win each category. So it's, it's tough, it's exhaustive. We start working on this month, a month in advance at least. And、uh, the, these are our finalists. These are, these are what we think was the best of the show. Have you announced the winners yet? We have, yeah. We, we did on Thursday evening,、uh, on the, I think, third day of the show. I lose track. But、uh, yeah, the winner,、uh, best of best, is, was the Impossible Burger 2.0. Oh my God, not a tech <laughs> product of any kind. <laughs> It surprised everybody, but I think it has. I, my personal take on it is that I, I like that it's a unique、uh, thing to win a Best of CES award. We've never awarded it to a non gadget, but. In addition to that, I think it has a lot of implications, not just for non meat eaters, but just for the fact that we are, you know, it's something that can help our environment overall, right? Reduce the over, I don't know, waste of food or eating too much meat. There's a lot of. Um, econ- uh, environmental positives this has. And that's something that I think, as an industry, we could think to do a lot more of. So I think it's a unique choice. And I think it's, it's not, I mean, it's a controversial choice, let's be real. I don't think everyone on the team voted for it, but it was the most popular option. And that's how it won best of best. So, how was it? <laughs> we should explain the Impossible Burger is a、yes. hamburger that tastes and looks like it, it's meat, but it's not. It's a, what is it? It's a soy based、uh, protein, soy based protein、um, patty, right? I think the first time it came out, it was able to replicate the so called blood that you would expect from a meat patty. And、uh, the initial Impossible Burger patty that people have tried for a while now、uh, was wheat based. And so this year, the,、oh. the new one is based on soy and it has more of a texture, a chewy texture to it that is. That helps make it taste more like meat.、Uh, I personally didn't try it because I'm like, whoa, that is not my cup of tea.、Disgusting. I want, <laughs> yeah, I want real meat. But,、uh, but the, the people who tried it from our team thought it was really good, actually, and that it tasted a lot more like beef than the original.、Uh, yo, here, Now, is、thing. it I, easier I, to cook?、Uh, no. <laughs> okay, well, no, that's no. a big issue. So, the Impossible Burger right now, your quality, if you go buy it, it's all over the map. Because the, right now they sell it only in restaurants. White Castle and, has it. Yeah. So you can, I've had a really delicious Impossible Burger and I've had a really terrible、oh, Impossible Burger. And so I was curious if this one's a little easier to cook without like, it's drying easier to it cook than、much. the wheat products because soy is so much more flexible as a protein than, than any、okay. wheat product can be. But、uh, for me, the thing is, Why are we doing this? I mean, you're never going to convince someone who is, I have、oh, to eat no, meat. No, no, we must do this. No, no, no. I mean, I understand. We must do I, this. No, I, I believe in it. I believe that a product like this is very important. I'm actually with Engadget on that. I'm just saying, why do we have to make every product like this almost meat? No, it, I, it's I, I food. understand. It's just food. If、it's、you're a vegetarian, you should eat vegetables. But <laughs> if we're going to, repl- what we need to do is get the world off of eating meat. It's not、yeah. an economical. Food product. If you do it if you do it right, it's actually a really compelling meat burger like substance. You can do great、substance. stuff with soy. The presumption is if people are going to stop eating meat, not just people who have declared themselves、right. vegetarians, but if we can wean people off of meat, we're going to have to make something that is like, that is indistinguishable from meat that they'll be happy with.、Right. But do, do we? I mean, or is yes, it, or is it yes, just that yes, one generation、do. that still remembers、so、what think, meat tastes like、right. that's going to want it? <laughs> well, And maybe, after that, they're like, yeah, it's why just would I want it? a transitional burger. I, I tell think, you what, to so, your point. Go ahead, Sean.、Uh, yeah, to your point, I think that for, for someone like me who's in the middle, who could see myself switching over to this meatless substitute someday, getting it as close to real meat as possible is, is key. Because the reason I don't switch over to being a full vegetarian is because of the taste of a lot of things. And I've been able to integrate more vegetables into my diet because some of them have been prepared so well. So it's, I think the audience isn't the one that's fully vegetarian or the one that's firmly into their barbecue that wants to eat meat their whole lives. You're talking about the segment that's maybe open to it and could switch over. And that's a huge segment too. 
I, I've effectively switched over to being vegetarian because all we have in Italy is pasta. Spaghetti. <laughs> Seriously, it's everything. Do they pasta give you meat sauce? Everything. No, it's just pasta. It's you pasta mean, with beans or pasta with rice or pasta with pasta. Ugh. It's like living at a, what is it, what's that, Olive Garden. <laughs> oh, well. He lives at Olive Garden pastas. with some nice paintings. <laughs> you would see, exactly. There you go. It some is, gilded paintings. Yeah. Which, I would but, say, so if you think about the cost differential, so if you yeah. can get Impossible Burgers to be eventually cheaper than meat, right, because we're trying to promote people eating it or maybe it becomes cheaper as the cost of meat rises to reflect its environmental costs, then you might have something where you're like, oh, a meat burger is a special occasion and the rest of the time you have this. And it's nice to have that as an option that's still familiar. Yeah, I mean, the beef council will tell you, oh, no, you know, it's a myth that beef tastes uh, 4,000 gallons of water per pound and stuff Oh, my like gosh. That. I live in Texas. The beef council's <laughs> right outside my door. <laughs> but it's There's clear. a cow grazing on my lawn. <laughs> it's, it, I mean, <laughs> the simple fact of it is eating lower on the food chain yeah. is healthier because you're not concentrating toxins. It's better for the environment because it takes less energy, uh, less water, less of everything to make. It's it, so it's healthier for you. It's better for the environment. The only but the problem is meat is seen as so, as something you can eat because you're affluent. Well, and and I think that that really we have in order to save the planet among the, the many things we have to do, we have to stop eating meat. I the, think. There's a missing element here, though. Y yes, meat is energy intensive, but the main energy costs. And I'm talking now in Transportation. general. It's yeah, it's the logistical yeah. chain. It's it's the fact that nothing is sourced locally. So for me to have that burger, it's not just that yes, that that cow had to be raised and grazed and processed, but now it, it was probably transported a couple of thousand miles, processed at three or four different locations before it got to yeah. my Big Mac box. So that's another problem, right? And that so that's that's the same Texas problem if it's meat yeah, or, or soy. Stacy just goes at her door, kills a cow, brings it in, <laughs> and she's at yeah. dinner. I'm done. <laughs> We have a lot of cows in here, the kitchen. too. Yeah. And, and that is the other side of it. People say yeah. eat local, right, as much as you can. Eat sustainably and eat local. Uh, I just, I think that this, it's an interesting thing. The other reason there's, the Impossible Burger exists, it's going to be a moneymaker, yeah, right? Exactly. Uh, I think five years ago to make, uh, uh, I remember Sergey Brin eating the first fake hamburger. It was a $6,000 hamburger. But it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so we, but, but, in, it but, it, but the investment is to bring the price down and make it more palatable, more acceptable, but also easier to distribute, easier to cook. And, and I think a lot of investors, Elon Musk's brother is big on this, think that the next wave of big unicorns is going to be food, food companies. Well, specifically, he likes growing inside of cities, right? Yeah, urban I mean, farming. Yeah, that, that was his he thing. Square roots. Uh, and they love this idea of, of taking old shipping containers and outfitting them with right. high density grow capacity, dropping them into the middle of an urban area and say, that's your food, your food source. So I that's actually difficult. So super, the problem yeah. with, so, well, and it's also, those are so expensive right now. You can only grow high value crops mm -hmm. and you can also only grow certain types of crops that don't grow vertically Precisely. or sorry, that do grow vertically. Vertic yeah. Vertically. So you can grow, grow lettuces, but you can't grow things like, I don't think you can grow strawberries. You can't grow wheat products or grasses or grains yet. Or soy. You can't do soy. soy or soy, right. Can you do beets? Uh, beets? I mean, no. Cause I don't good. Think so. good. You need That's something that grows straight As long up. as you can't do beets, I'm all for it. Right. Beets are delicious. Hey, beets, <laughs> don't beets contribute to the heme that's part of beets are very good for the Impossible Burger? That's right. No. The heme is there, is the... God, I even, it's disgusting even to talk about it, but it's the blood product that they use to simulate the juicy See, okay, blood that's the burger. part of it that I'm like, wait, why do, why do that? Need to Don't do, that? do it. Because we're all vampires. Because people, because when you look at a picture of a burger, Juice. I mean, they, imagine if it were well done. You'd be like, Ugh. Too dry, right? So, Sherilyn, I am proud of Engadget and proud of you for choosing <laughs> as the best of CES a fake meat product. I mean, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's That's bold.